Hi, Laura. Hi. Welcome to your Reiki session today. We're also going to do a little bit of naturopathic healing, um, just get a sense of what elements you might be craving, and then we can apply that in the Reiki session, okay? Okay. Um, any, uh, I'm just gonna run through a couple of questions. Uh, any headaches in the last month? Not really. Okay. Any um, difficulty with your lungs, breathing, uh, feeling shortness of breath, anything like that? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, okay. Um, is that when you go outside in the cold or just in general? Yeah, definitely. The cold, okay. Any stomach discomfort or irregularity in the last month that's different for you than normal? Not really. Okay. All right, I'm just going to take a couple of pulses here, so just relax for me. Your pulses are pretty deep, which means I just have to press pretty hard to feel them. Do you have um, low blood pressure usually? I do. Yeah, okay. So we can work on that. I'm just going to feel here. Okay. Can you stick your tongue out for me, please? Perfect. So it's a little bit of paleness in the tongue. Um, so do you have any trouble sleeping ever? Um, yeah, occasionally. Occasionally trouble sleeping. Okay. How often, how long every night are you sleeping, would you say, hours-wise? Maybe anywhere between six and a half to eight and a half. Okay, so eight and a half seems like enough, but mm -hmm. the six and a half would be a little bit on the lower side. Mm -hmm. um, the paleness in the tongue can sometimes just be due to um, a little bit of lack of sleep or insomnia. We mm -hmm. just see that often. So just relax, I'm gonna have you, um, this arm is going to go up like this. Okay. I'm gonna push against you when I place different elements mm -hmm. and I want you to push back. So practice here, hold it. Okay, it's gonna be just like that with different okay. elements. If this one could just gently relax by the side, mm -hmm. that would be perfect. So because you have quite a deep pulse, I'm gonna start out with some of my herbal elements here. Let's do, start with a rosemary. And hold. Okay, that's all right. Nothing special. Let's try St. John's wort. And hold. Good, that's strong. Set that aside. Okay, some sage. And hold. Lavender, a little weaker there. Could be some stress and anxiety lately. Mm. Okay. Other warts and holds. That's fine. Just gonna put this whole pack on you, actually. Good, nice and strong. Try cinnamon for warmth if you're having that lung problem in the cold. Nice and strong. Okay, a little bit of weakness there, so yeah, we're definitely missing some of that warmth. here. Yeah, that's stronger. Okay. That one's nice and strong, right? It feels mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. okay, 
that's fennel. Okay, try two more here. Just relax for now. I'm just gonna press a point and just up halfway, just like that. Just pressing along the lung points. start with the earth elements now and just starting one pack at a time. No, that one's not. Good. That one's good. And there's bloodstone in that one. So I'm not surprised about that. Another warming element. Very good. Try red quartz. Also good. Try some aquamarine. I don't think this is going to be very good, but no. Nope. Obsidian. Up all the way for me. Check that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's see if there's anything here. Just up straight for me. There you go. No. Okay. So we have a couple of combinations here to try. Fennel. Cinnamon and bloodstone. I'm liking that. That might be one of our main combos. How about eucalyptus, red quartz, and lavender? No. So these are our two combinations for the Reiki. We're placing those on different parts of the body while we're doing the energy movements, okay? So I'm just gonna press on a couple of points here just to start activating. First, holding on the third eye. So just keep the eyes closed. Here on the crown chakra. Okay. I'm going to ground you with my energy to begin with. You're going to feel some warmth and heat start to grow. We want to do that to hopefully get the lungs healing. You may feel the body start to move around its energy. That could be a big breath. It could be a stomach crumble. That's completely normal. Because the physical and the emotional bodies are absolutely connected at every point. Place a few stones to get us started. Feel some pressure on the belly. Is that okay there? Mm -hmm. okay. Quite a heavy.
supports on the chest again, is that all right? Mm -hmm. And a jade on the forehead. Starting to move some of the energy now. Definitely feeling a big blockage right over the lungs. You have two big vortexes right here over the heart chakra, the lungs. Energy is swirling, it's panicked. And then right over that third eye as well, a slightly smaller vortex there, but still the energy is gathering and it's not flowing through the points as well as we'd like to see. So it's getting stuck. Oftentimes when we see these energy patterns, people can feel pretty unmotivated or just apathetic, more apathetic about things than they used to. They're just not getting quite as excited or as interested in something, or as motivated to do something. Just feeling more stuck. Replace this with some of those elements that we pulled out for you. And some gentle feather sweeping now. relax you, but also try and sweep away some of those finer particles.
Feel some air. See if I can do any more blocking now. Get deeper. Just hear me make some gentle noises. It just helps me focus my energy. Something coming out of the left side. That's the more analytical, logical side of the brain and of the mind. You've been having trouble working through something with that logical, analytical side of your brain. Hopefully by pulling this out, we can open that up and allow you to Work through it easier. Now I'm feeling a little unsure of where to go next. I'm going to remove these. Remove these. Just see what the body needs. I'm going to just ground it on your third eye. Still getting some motion right over that chest long area. See if it slows down as we move. Yeah, okay. The head chakra has opened up a little bit though, that's great. Palms forward for me, please. Thank you. And relax. Okay. 
color combination here. This is going to go right on the chest. Is that all right there? And this on the head. a few drops into the air. Take a deep breath, please. Deep breath. Feel some pressure on the scalp. Just gonna work with my gem wands. Playing with the energies above that third eye. just for one moment. Just some gentle sound work now. Don't got me hitting you. Just trying to align the vibrations. I work in spectrums, so light, sound, 
but each of these things has corresponding vibration in the universe, a wavelength. I think I want to do a bit of light work as well. I'm just going to bathe you in a bit of different light frequencies here. So keep the eyes closed for me, please. So I'm doing a warm red frequency to try and warm some of that energy around the chest. to a purple for that logical, analytical side of the brain that is having some trouble working through. a nice calming orange yellow just to reset the body and the mind bring in the warmth of the natural world the sun the energy and the heat that we get from every other living thing you to slowly open your eyes and I want you to just follow the tip of my wand here with your eyes okay. just reorienting you to the world bringing you back into our plane of being going to ground you here. So based on the elements that we picked out for you, one of them was cinnamon. So I want you to try and eat a little bit more spiced food with cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, things like that. Sure. Just introduce a little bit of that into the diet. We also had some St. John's wort, which can be very calming. Add that to a little bit of warm water for your feet. Soak your feet for about 10 minutes a night. And with the bloodstone, could just mean you need a little bit um, more um, iron, the blood. Mm -hmm. Are you ever, ever deal with anemia or anything like that? No, okay. I'll keep an eye out. Keep an eye if you're feeling any of those symptoms, okay. All right, 
right, Laura, that brings us to the end of your session today. How are you feeling? I feel great. Okay, perfect. I hope that you bring this calm with you throughout the day, um, and you can always come back to this place of centering if you need to. Thank you. Thank you.